Good morning, YouTube. I must admit, I'm still not quite a grown-up. So, occasionally, I still attempt to socialize with sincerity at a bar, which is no place for sincerity. Um, but anyway, I was at a bar last night, and I met a man who uh, was... I sensed that there was uh, something about him that would annoy me, and uh, but I was curious. I wanted to investigate. Uh, he wanted to have sex with me, too, so it was very easy to engage him in a conversation. And I slipped a truth serum into his drink at the bar. And he confessed something to me. He confessed that he was the most powerful man in the world. And he spoke the truth. I can tell you that. He did speak the truth. Anyway, um, I was so affected by him that I went home and I created a portrait of him by using a, a fairly photographic memory of mine. Here it is. What does this man look like to you? He looks like a buffoon, an imbecile an idiot, a twit. But he is the most powerful man in the world. I'll show him to you again. This man is Satan's model on Earth. He is the model which you all are supposed to follow. That is why he's the most powerful man on the earth. Okay. Um, by day, he is a college professor. This is something else I learned about him. He is a professor of psychology. And I asked him, this was my first question, oh, you're a professor of psychology. Well, do you uh, teach your students using the classical approach to psychology, or do you teach them the physiological aspect, the physiological approach? And uh, he was very prompt in his response. He said, well, they're the same thing. And that was when I really put my finger on the inferior intellectual ability of the man. I knew he was an imbecile at that point. Uh, okay, well, prelude to you guys. Uh, your governments, wherever you are, are controlled by secret societies. Uh, you can call them the Freemasons or the Illuminati or uh, what, what's it called? Oh, boy. Uh, Freemasons, Illuminati, what the fuck else? New World Order, right, okay. Well, these are documented in history. There have been a lot of imbeciles uh, calling themselves members of these various orders. Um, now, perhaps I'm the only normal person in the world. That is possible. Uh, but I'll give you the benefit of the doubt and say you're normal. The folly of you normal people is to believe that these people... The, the, the imbeciles in the secret societies are more intelligent than you. They are far more pathologically stupid than you. Okay, that's the prelude, and uh, to explain this, I'm going to turn to Scripture. Now, uh, obviously, I'm going to skip through the first bits of uh, Genesis with uh, creation and stuff like that. So, uh, when God created living organisms, okay, the soul present in living organisms uh, was ignorant of everything but itself. Completely ignorant of everything but itself. It was only for a sense of self. 
it felt a connection of God with God, but it uh, it had a sense of self. That's all it was for. The physical apparatus, which you could call a nervous system or a brain, the brain was purely for the enjoyment of nature. Purely for the enjoyment of nature. Absolutely nothing else. Now, Genesis 3.5 has been translated various ways, uh, but it's pretty consistent. Uh, if you sift through the rubble of the verse, you will find the word like in it. And Genesis 3.5 is when the devil tempts Eve to consume the fruit of the sacred tree in the center of the garden. And he says, by consuming it, you will be like God. Not be God. Like God. That was very deliberate to use the word like, because Eve was not stupid enough to think that she would be God. She understood individuality. She understood that she has subjective experience, which is plain evidence of a soul. Um, but she believed that she could be transmogrified into something like God. And uh, she was not entirely thinking straight. Once she consumed the fruit, or whatever you'd like to call it, uh, her brain and her soul inversed positions. Uh, she began to, and this, again, this, this would get worse. This has gotten worse in our history. Okay, I'll get to that. Uh, but instead of the soul being for the sense of self and the brain being for enjoyment, uh, she thought that the brain was for the sense of self, the sense of self-recognition or subjective experience, while the soul was for pleasure and enjoyment of nature. It was a complete inversion, and uh, it's a lie, and it's an illusion. But the people who uh, have existed, the, again, these secret societies, as, as they've evolved and developed uh, calculational abilities, uh, they are stupid, but that comes with an ability to systematize communities into less healthy entities, they don't even, they think that it's healthy and, and it just degenerates. Uh, the thing is, um, they want so badly to have a sense of self, but again, because of the original sin, they think that their brain or their physical apparatus is what the self is about. They do not, they think that the transmogrification is what worked. They don't understand that it didn't work. They don't understand that the real solution is transcendence. They're sticking with transmogrification. And uh, they are convinced that it's the way. They're still stupid. Okay, so they think the brain is for self-recognition, but they recognize that brains decay. They recognize that their physical apparatus decays. Uh, they throw away their souls. They don't understand them. They think that they're for stiff and frequent erections or something like that uh, for absolutely no reason at all. Uh, let's just focus on the brain. They are trying to achieve eternal life, which if they just recognized their soul again through an effort to transcend, 
uh, they would recognize they do have a real opportunity at eternal life, but they're too stupid, okay? So uh, they think that by using computer science nowadays, see, this started with alchemy, okay? This is very, and you know, uh, you just look in history books. I can recommend, if you want to comment, we can discuss this. But take alchemy, for example. Uh, the idea that you are going to transmogrify lead into gold, so to speak. Uh, once modern science explained that that just doesn't work, uh, they abandoned that idea. Uh, but it was always this effort uh, to immortalize this uh, illusion of bodily self-recognition. And they kept on trying. Now, computer science is the latest technological development, and uh, they're all hot in the biscuit to make this work. Uh, they would, they, they are promoting uh, the idea, they want to experiment with the public. They're selling you cell phones. Uh, movies, uh, whatever. I mean, I will do this in future videos, but it's all very crude right now, and it's very stupid. Um, but again, they think that they're going to use technology to uh, prolong the, immortalize the physical apparatus, the brain. Uh, and if it's not by inserting technology into the brain, it is about inserting the brain into technology. When I talk about technology, I'm pretty much referring to computers because that's the current fetish of today. Um, so those are just my words. Again, I want you to take a look at the most powerful man in the world. This is Noah, the college professor of psychology who does not know the difference between the classical approach and the physiological approach. Okay, um, and you can decide for yourself if you want to be like him. He's trying to sell something to you every day. Okay. Good luck, guys. We'll talk about more of this later.